Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me in this market update as we have a look at some individual transportation stocks. What we have are about eight stocks on the left hand side, which we'll go through. We'll speak about some past trades, some current trades, and of course, trade management, which applies to all of these eight individual stocks. So first of all, we'll start with Delta Airlines. Now, Delta Airlines, we've had two bullish trade triggers for the better part of May 2014, one at $37.17, another at $39.34, both profitable. What looks to be happening at the moment is another little stair step pattern. So if we break above the high of these three candlesticks, you can add to your individual positions, whether that is stock or call options for whichever expiration month you were looking at trading and of course the applicable strike price. Delta looks to be trending. It starts or it is beginning to move in the bullish direction. Very nice stock if in fact the markets break out and continue to trend. Let's move into forward ticker symbol F. Now this is something we had set up last week at $16.03. Incredible breakout. Hit our first target right here at $16.50. All in the space of three trading sessions. Incredible trade on Ford. Congratulations. Look for the next buy opportunity above $16.70. That goes back to these two old swing highs. One in January 2014, a second in April 2014. So if we clear $16.70, look for the next trend and trade up to about $17.70 on Ford. GT, nothing happened last week. We had the bearish opportunity at $24.21. Didn't trade, didn't trigger, pardon me, that's okay. Bullish opportunity at $26.96. This looks the goods this week if in fact the market continues to move in the bullish direction. HPQ, this was an incredible bullish trade. Well, not incredible, but what looks to be, pardon me, an incredible bullish trade. We saw this bullish, uh, this bearish candlestick right here, and we just set it up below 31.26 when we're bearish, above 33.44 we're bullish. We got triggered on Monday. Right now we're sitting at a break even, but if we start moving any higher, expect the volume, of course, to come back into HPQ. As again, we start to break out above old resistance levels and all of this upper congestion, which we call the intraday swings in price movement. So still have high hopes for HBQ. It is uh, just sitting there at the moment right on our initial trigger. That's all well and good. Nice trade setup to uh, speak about on HPQ. Let's move into LVS. LVS is very close to triggering at 77.93. If in fact we roll over, look for an entry about $74 on the bearish side, which is going to take us down to again, $71 a share. Nicer trade setups uh, outside of LVS, one of which has been NSC. We had the bullish trade at $98.31. Here we are uh, at $100.75. We have made you know, a nice little $2.50 move on NSC at the moment. All of these core positions adding up and are blossoming in our own trading accounts. We are just beginning to trend. So this could be the start of a trend. I wouldn't be looking to buy at the moment. I'd be waiting for a retracement into these exponential moving average and then the next bullish pop will occur. At the moment, it's not set up to trade. Oracle, however, is. You can see that we're bouncing right off this 10 and this 20 exponential moving average. Initial entry was 42.30. Had that on a Tuesday, a little bit of an intraday whiplash. But as you can see, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're coming back up. 42.30 still looks good. And we've got higher targets. First target isn't too far away. It's only about 43. But if we clear this, then we're off to the races on Oracle. And we're looking to really set up a nice bullish pop in the overall stock. So I'm excited about Oracle as well. Here is TJX. TJX had earnings. And again, we had a very similar trade set up. We had this one uh, bearish candlestick. We had a 53.73 bearish entry, 57.06 bullish entry, and nothing has happened. We're right down here again at the low of this candlestick. If we break down below $53.73, we have got some incredible lower targets on TJ, TJX, pardon me, which can, can co coincide all the way down to $44 a share. So if you enjoyed this analysis video, this is a very brief analysis video. If you're looking for more intricate trade analysis, more detailed trade analysis, you want to watch over my shoulder, have a look at pivotpoint-trading.com. Email me personally at success at pivotpoint-trading.com. We can schedule a phone call, get in contact with me. We can discuss your trading goals and how I can assist you in achieving them. All the best, ladies and gentlemen. Have a fantastic trading week. I'll see you all during the week for additional market updates. Goodbye.